investing in silver can be very frustrating. But today we're going to talk about what silver did again. This is good news, guys. Silver just never seems to disappoint. Have you heard that phrase? Everything that silver touches improves. We're going to talk about a new application for silver. Another, it seems like every week we get these massive news stories about silver. Solid state batteries a few weeks back. But what's the latest news story? We're going to dig into that in just a few seconds after I tell you, thank you for being here. You are the most important part of Ron's basement. You're part of the group. Some of you like to call yourselves basement dwellers. Whatever you call yourself, you're always welcome here. Please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. And any financial support via Super Chats or Super Thanks, whatever they're called, is super appreciated. Exciting and interesting are two words I would use to describe this latest news about silver. Self-healing breakthrough could be a game changer for electronics. Silver, silver, never disappoints. This article from our friends at Kitco and Jordan Finiseth. Let's dig in, guys. Is silver self-healing? I mean, when does it end? Uh, silver demand is based on industrial applications. We know that. Solar panels, solid state batteries, electronics, you name it. The list of uses could soon expand greatly thanks to a breakthrough discovery by scientists in China. No wonder China's sucking in all the world's silver. Now they've discovered that silver's self-healing. Silver has the intrinsic capability of autonomously self-healing at the nanoscale level. Basically, guys, what that means is that at a very microscopic small level, this incredible uh, discovery has been made that silver can actually heal itself. And why is that such a big deal? The concept of self-healing in material science and engineering was inspired by the innate ability of some living organisms to self-heal, like when you cut your finger, right? But thus far, the focus has generally been on soft materials like polymers and hydrogels. Quote, for solid state metals like silver, one may intuitively imagine that any form of self-healing will be much more difficult to achieve. In blue, they're basically saying that any previous attempts to have self-healing in any type of metal required some type of external trigger, catalyst, heating, mechanical stimulus, or electron beam, irradiation. Whether the autonomous self-healing can occur in metal solids without any external intervention remained a scientific curiosity. In this study, the scientists combined advanced in-situ transmission electronic microscopy, called TEM, with molecular dynamics MD simulations to show that nanoscale silver can autonomously repair itself from structural damage, such as nanocracks and nanopores, without any external intervention. The word nano means microscopic, okay? Quote, this remarkable ability is observed not only at room temperature, but also at frigid temperatures as low as 173K. Notably, over the same damaging area, the repeated reversible self-healing cycles can also be achieved with the same level of efficiency. So on your screen are some visual demonstrations of what they discovered up here in the upper left corner. See that big crack? Over time, the silver healed itself. See this hole or divot? Over time, it healed itself. Same here. Silver healed itself. Same here and same here. It looks like an, like an impression. Silver healed itself. This is breakthrough scientific news. As an interesting and perhaps surprising result, the two representative kinds of structural damage were observed to undergo rapid self-healing. Guys, this is silver 
without any type of uh, catalyst or or uh, or push healing itself again on a very microscopic level. I don't think that we could like make a big scratch in one of our American silver eagles and expect the next morning to wake up and for that scratch to be healed. But at a nano micro level, which is where a lot of the new technological advances are coming with silver, this is big, big news. Rapid self-healing autonomously within several dozens of minutes with the healed regions perfectly restoring the crystal lattice of silver with atomically (laughs) precise ordering on an atomic level. We'll leave it at that. This is interesting, comparing silver to gold in the same scenario. Unlike silver, gold did not show similar self-healing behavior at room temperature, despite the fact that gold is the most relevant element to silver in the periodic table, and they share many similarities in physical and chemical properties. They say they successfully were able to reproduce this experiment several times. The authors noted that the ability of silver to autonomously self-heal nanoscale damage at room temperature and below shows a promising possibility for developing damage-tolerant components and devices at the sub-micrometer length scale. If you want to get your hands on some silver before it all self-heals itself, do yourself a favor. Please check out channel sponsor Pimbex. P-I-M-B-E-X, Pimbex.com, online bullion dealer. Compare what they can do for you with the other big online bullion dealers. And I think you'll find what I found. Pimbex checks all the boxes. They have ultra competitive pricing, great selection, and a company you can trust. And if you ever decide to convert all or part of an IRA into precious metals, take your time and make part of that time uh, a call to Pimbex. Compare what they can do for you compared to the other big IRA conversion companies. Also, thank you to First Mining Gold, Canadian gold developer with two multi-million ounce projects in Canada and Fortuna Mining, an operating mining company, gold and silver mining in Latin America, gold mining in West Africa. So what do you make of this big story about silver, another big story, right? Silver can heal itself. We know, right? Nanoparticles are kind of the future. We know microscopic amounts of silver in electronics, but imagine if they could repair themselves from damage, which apparently they can, right? And it's not just this, it's everywhere we look. Water purification, Uh, solar panels, the list just goes on and on for the uses of silver. Is it clear to you? It's clear to me. Silver really does improve everything it touches. And hey, look, I'm touched that you joined me here in the basement. I hope you know you belong here. You're part of the group. We'll look forward to seeing you next time. You can go watch another video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you soon.